Numbers chapter 26. And it came to pass after the plague that the Lord spoke unto Moses and unto Alzar, the son of Aaron, the priest, saying, Take the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel from twenty years old and upward throughout their father's house, all that are able to go to war in Israel. And Moses and Ezar the priests spoke with them in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho, saying, Take the sum of the people from twenty years old and upward, as the Lord commanded Moses and the children of Israel, which went forth out of the land of Egypt. Reuben, the eldest son of Israel, the children of Reuben, Hanok, of whom cometh the family, the family of the Hanosites, of Palu, the family of the Palutes, of Haran, the family of the Har Haranites, of Carmi, the family of the Carmites. These are the families of the Reubenites, and they that were numbered of them were forty and three thousand and seventy hundred and thirty. And the sons of Palu Elab, and the sons of Elab Numeral, and Danath and Ibram. This is the Danath and Ibram, which were famous in the congregation, who strove against Moses and against Aaron in the company of Korah, when they strove against the Lord. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up together with Korah. When that company died, what time the fire devoured two hundred and fifty men, and they became a sign, notwithstanding the children of Korah died not. The sons of Simon, after their families of two, numeral, the family of the Numerites, of Jamin, the family of Jamanites, of Jashin, the family of the Jananites, of Sarah, the family of Zaranites, of Shal, the family of the Sholites. These are the families of the Sam Samianites, twenty and two thousand and two hundred. The children of Gad, after their families of Zaphan, the family of Zaphanites, of Haggai, the family of the Haggais, of Sa Sandi the family of the Sunites, of Ozanai, the family of the Zonites of Eri, the family of the Arites of Orod, the family of Oradites of Arali, the family of Aralatis. These are the families of the children of Gad, according to those that were numbered of them 40,500. The sons of Judah were Er and Onan, and Er and Onan died in the land of Canaan. And the sons of Judah after their families were of Shelah, the family of the Salonites, of Pharaohs, the family of Pharaohites, of Zerah, the families of the Zerahites. And the sons of Pharaohs were of Hezron. The family of Zeranites of Hamu, the family of the Hamalites. These are the families of Judah according to those that were numbered of them. Three score and sixteen thousand and five hundred. Of the sons of Azar after the fa their families of Tola, the family of the Tozalite of Kua, the family of Kunanites, of Jazim. The family of Jabites, of Shamron, the family of Samalites. These are the families of Izar, according to those that were numbered of them. Three score and four thousand and three hundred. Of the sons of Zubalan, after their families of Sarat, the family of the Saradites of Elon, the family of the Elonites of Jelhil, the family of the Jelites. These are the families of Zubanites according to those 
that were numbered of them, three score, thou, three score thousand and five hundred. The sons of Joseph and after their families were Manasseh and Ephraim. Of the sons of Manasseh of Machar, the family of the Masrites and Machar, Bilad, Gilad of Gilad, come the family of Gilad. These are the sons of Gilad of Zizar, the family of Gilad of Halek, the family of Halakites, and of Israel, Az Azrael, the family of the Azraelites, and the, of Shehem, the family of the Shemanites, and of Shemida, the family of Semanites, and of Hefer, the family of the Heferites, and the Zalophi, the son of Hefer, and had no sons, but daughters, and the names of the daughters were, the daughters of Zalophat, were Mahla, and Noah, Holglad, Malachi, and Tarza. These are the families of Manasseh, and those that were numbered of them, fifty and two thousand and seven hundred. These are the sons of Ephraim after their families of Jula, the family of the Julites of Bishar, the family of the Bazarites of Taha, Taha, the family of Canaanites. And these are the sons of Shula of Aaron, the family of the Ezraites. These are the families of the sons of Ephraim according to to those that were numbered of the thirty and two thousand and five hundred. These are the sons of Joseph after their families, the sons of Benjamin after their families of Bella, the family of the Bellites of Asbel, the family of the Asbelites of Hiram, the family of Asmarites of Shufam, the family of the Sumamites of Hufram. The family of the Humanites and the sons of Bela were Ard and Naman of Ard, and the families of Ardites and of Naman, the family of Namites. These are the sons of Benjamin after their families, and they were numbered of them, were forty and five hundred and six hundred. These are the sons of Dan after their families of Shuham the family of the Sumanites. These are the families of Dan after their families. All the families of the Shumanites, according to those that were numbered of them, were threescore and four thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Asar, after their families of Gemini, the family of Geminites of Jua, the family of the Geminites of Bara, the family of the Barites. Of the sons of Bara, of Heber, the family of the Heberites. Of the Melai, the family of the Melalites. The name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. These are the families of the sons of Asher according to those that were numbered of them, who were fifty and three thousand and four hundred. Of the sons of Naphtali, there after their families of Jazil, the family of Jezreelites of Guni, the family of the Gunanites of Jezer, the family of the Zarites of Shilom, the family of the Salmonites. These are the families of Naphtali according to their families, and they that were numbered them were forty and five thousand four hundred. These were the numbered of the children of Israel, six hundred thousand and a hundred thousand seven hundred and thirty. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Unto thee the land shall be divided for an inheritance according to the number of names. Too many thou shalt give the more inheritance and to few that shall 
that shall give the less inheritance. To every one shall his inheritance be given according to those that were numbered of him. Notwithstanding, the land shall be divided by lot. According to the names of the tribes of their fathers, they shall inherit. According to the lot shall the possession thereof be divided between many and few. And those are they that were numbered, of the Levites after their families, of Jerson, the family of Gerdonites, of Gohad, the family of the Gonanites of Mary, the family of the Marathis. These are the families of the Levites, the family of the Labanites, the family of the Labarites, the family of the Melalites, and the family of the Mushites, the family of Haranites, and Kohath, begot Amram. And the name of Amram's wife was Joabed, the daughter of Levi, whom her mother bare to Levi in Egypt. She bare unto Amram, Aaron, and Moses, and Miriam, their sister. And unto Aaron was born Nabdab, and Ab Ilzar, and Elkamar, and Nadab. The Abu died, and they offered strange fire before the Lord. And those that were numbered of them were twenty and three thousand all males from a month old and upward, for they were not numbered among the children of Israel, because there was no inheritance given them among the children of Israel. These are they that were numbered by Moses and Eleazar the priest, who numbered the children of Israel in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho. But among these there was not a man of them whom Moses and Aaron the priest numbered when they numbered the children of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. For the Lord had sent of them, of them, they shall surely die in the wilderness. And there was not left a man of them, save Caleb the son of Jubanu and Joshua the son of Nun. Chapter 27 then came the daughters of Zabulhad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilad, the son of Mahar, the son of Manasseh, of the families of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. And these are the names of his daughters, Malad, <coughs> Noah, and Hogla, and Malachi, and Teresa. And they stood before Moses and before Elzar the priest, and before the princes and all the congregation by the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, saying, Our father died in the wilderness, and he was not in the comp company of them that gathered themselves together against the Lord, in the company of Korah, but died in his own sin, and had no son. Why should the name of our father be done away from among his family, because he had no son? Give unto us therefore a possession among the brethren of our father. And Moses brought their cause before the Lord. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, The daughters of Zephlehad speak right, thou shalt surely give them a possession of an inheritance among their father's brethren, and those shall cause the inheritance of their father to pass unto them. And those shall speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a man die and had no son, then he shall cause in his inheritance to pass unto his daughter. And if he have no daughter, then he shall give the, his inheritance unto his brethren. And if he have no brethren, then he shall give his inheritance unto the father's brethren. And if his father have no brethren, then he shall give his inheritance unto his kinsman that is next to him of his family. And he shall pass it, and it shall be unto the children of Israel 
a statue of judgment, as the Lord commanded Moses. And the Lord said unto Moses, Get thee up unto the mount of this mount Abraham, and see the land which I have given unto the children of Israel. And when thou hast seen it, thou also shalt be gathered unto the people, as Aaron thy brother was gathered. For ye rebelled against my commandment in the desert of Zin, in the strife of the congregation, to sanctify me at the water before their eyes. That is the water of Meribah in Kadesh, in the wilderness of Zin. The, and Moses spoke unto the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the Spirit of all flesh, set a man over the congregation, which may go out before them, and which may go in before them, and which may lead them out, and which may bring in, them in, that the congregation of the Lord be not as sheep which have no shepherd. And the Lord said unto Moses, Take thee Joshua the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay thy hand upon him, and set him before Ilzar the priest, and before all the congregation, and gave him a charge in their sight. And thou shalt put some of thy honor upon him, that all the congregation of the children of Israel may be obedient. And he shall stand before Yazar the priest, who shall ask counsel for him. After the judgment of Urim before the Lord, at his word shall they go out. And at his word they shall come in, both me and all the children of Israel, with him, even all the congregation. And Moses did as the Lord commanded him. And he took Joshua and set him before Elzar the priest and before all the congregation. And he laid his hands upon him and gave him a charge, as the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses. Chapter 28 And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel, and say unto them, My offering and my bread for my sacrifice is made by fire. For a sweet savour unto me shall ye observe, to offer unto me in their due season. And thou shalt say unto them, This is the offering made by fire, which ye shall offer unto the Lord, two lambs of the first year without spot, day by day, for a continual burnt offering. The one lamb sh shalt thou offer in the morning, and the other lamb shalt thou offer at, e at even. And a tenth part of Ephra of flour or meat offering mingled with the fourth part of an hin or of beaten oil. It is a continual burnt offering which was ordained in the Mount Sinai for a sweet savior, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord. And the drink offering thereof shall be the fourth part of an hin, for the one lamb in the holy place shall so cause me the strong wine to be poured unto the Lord for a drink offering. And the other lamb shall do offer at even as the meat offering of the morning, and as the drink offering thereof, do shall offer it, a sacrifice made by fire of a sweet Savior unto the Lord. And on the Sabbath day, two lambs of the first year without spot, two tenths deals of flour for a meat offering mingled with oil and the drink offering thereof. This is the burnt offering of every Sabbath beside the continual burnt offering and his drink offering. And in the beginnings of your mouths ye shall offer a burnt offering unto the Lord, two young bullocks and one ram, seven lambs of the first year without spot, and Three tenth deals of flour for a meat offering mingled with oil, for one bullock and two tenth deals of flour for a meat offering mingled with oil for one ram, and a several tenth deal of flour mingled with oil for a meat offering unto one lamb for 
a burnt offering of a sweet Savior, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord. And their drink offering shall be half a hin of wine unto a bullock, and the third part of an hin unto a ram, and a fourth part of an hin unto the, a lamb. This is the burnt offering of every month throughout the months of the year. And one kid of the goats for a sin offering unto the Lord shall be offered, beside the continual burnt offering and his drink offering. And in the fourteenth day of the first month is the Passover of the Lord. And in the fifteenth day of this month is the feast. Seven days shall unleavened bread be eaten. And the first day shall be a holy convocation. Ye shall do no manner of servile work therein. But ye shall offer a sacrifice made by fire for a burnt offering unto the Lord, two young bullocks and one ram, seven lambs of the first year. They shall be unto you without blemish. And their meat offering shall be of flour mingled with oil. Three tenth deals shall ye offer for a bullock, and two tenth deals for a ram. A several tenth deal shall do offer for every lamb. Throughout the seven lambs, and one goat for sin offering, to make an atonement for you, ye shall offer these beside the burnt offerings in the morning, which is for continual burnt offering. After this manner ye shall offer daily, throughout the seven days, the meat of the sacrifice made by fire of a sweet Savior unto the Lord. It shall be offered beside the continued burnt offering and his drink offering. And on the seventh day ye shall have a holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work. Also, in the day of the first fruits, when ye bring a new meat offering unto the Lord, after your weeks be out, Ye shall have a holy convocation, ye shall do no servile work, but ye shall offer the burnt offering for a sweet Savior unto the Lord, two young bullocks, one ram, seven lambs of the first year, and their meat offering of flour mingled with oil, three tenth deals unto one bullock, two tenth deals unto one ram, a several tenth deal unto one lamb, throughout the seven lambs, and one kid of the goats to make an atonement for you. Ye shall offer them beside the continual burnt offerings, and his meat offering they shall be unto you without blemish, and their drink offerings. Chapter 29 and in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, ye shall have a holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work, it is a day of blowing the trumpets unto you. And ye shall offer a burnt offering for a sweet Savior unto the Lord. One young bullock, one ram, seven lambs, of the first year without blemish. And their meat offering shall be of uh, flour mingled with oil three tenth deals for a bullock and two tenth deals for a ram, and one tenth deal for one ram, lamb, throughout the seven lambs, and one kid of the goats for a sin offering to make an atonement for you, beside the burnt offering of the month, and his meat offering, and the daily burnt offering, and his meat offering, and their drink offerings, according unto their manner for sweet Savior, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord. And ye shall have on this tenth day of this seven month a holy convocation, and ye shall afflict your souls, ye shall not do any work therein. But ye shall offer a burnt offering unto the Lord for sweet Savior, one young bullock, one ram, and seven lambs of the first year, they shall be unto you without blemish. And their meat offering shall be 
of flour mingled with oil, three tenth deals to a bullock, and two tenth deals to one ram. A several tenth deal for one ram throughout the seven lambs, one kid of the goats for a sin offering beside the sin offering of atonement, and the continual burnt offering and the meat offering of it, and their drink offerings. And on the fifteenth day, on the seventh month, ye shall have a holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work, ye shall keep a feast unto the Lord seven days. And ye shall offer a burnt offering, a sacrifice made by fire of a sweet Savior unto the Lord. Thirteen young bullocks, two rams, fourteen lambs of the first year, they shall be without blemish. And their meat offering shall be a flour mingled with oil. Three tenth deals unto every bullet. Of the thirteen bullocks, two tenth deals to each ram of the two rams, a, and a several tenth deal to each lamb of the fourteen lambs, and one kid of the goats for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, his meat offering, and his drink offering. And on the second day ye shall offer twelve young bullocks, two rams, fourteen lambs of the first year without spot, and their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs shall be according to their number, after the manner. And one kid of the goats for sin offering beside the continual burnt offering, and the meat offering thereof, and their drink offering. And one third day, eleven bullocks, two rams, fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish, and their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams and for the lambs shall be according to their number after the manner. And one goat for sin offering beside the canoe burnt offering and his meat offering and his drink offering. And one fourth day, ten bullocks, two rams, fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish. Their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs shall be according to their number after the manner. And one kid of the goats for sin offering besides the continual burnt offering his meat offering and his drink offering and on the fifth day on the fifth day nine bullocks two rams fourteen lambs of the first year without spot and their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks for the rams and for the lambs shall be according to their number after the manner and one goat for sin offering beside the continual burnt offering and his meat offering and his drink offering. And one and on the sixth day eight bullocks, two rams, fourteen lambs on the first year without blemish. And their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs shall be according to their number after the manner. And one goat for sin offering beside the canoe burnt offering, his meat offering and his drink offering. And on the seventh day, seven bullocks, two rams and fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish. And their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks of the rams and for the lambs shall be according to their number after the manner. And one goat for sin offering beside the continual burnt offering, his meat offering, and his drink offering. On the eighth day ye shall have a solemn assembly. Ye shall do no servile work therein, but ye shall offer burnt offering, a sacrifice made by fire of a sweet savour unto the Lord. One bullock, one ram, seven lambs of the first year without blemish. Their meat offering and their drink offerings were the bullock for the ram, and for the lambs shall be according to their number, after the manner. 
and one goat for sin offering beside the continual burnt offering and his meat offering and his drink offering. These things ye shall do unto the Lord in your set feasts beside your vows and your free will offerings for your burnt offerings and for your meat offerings and for your drink offerings and for your peace offerings. And Moses told the children of Israel according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. Chapter 30 And Moses spoke unto the heads of the tribes concerning the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord had commanded. If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceeded out of his mouth. If a woman also vow a vow unto the Lord, and bind herself in by a bond, being in her father's house in her youth, and her father hear her vow in her bond wherewith she had bound her soul, and her father shall hold his peace at her. Then all her vows shall stand, and every bond wherewith she had bound her soul shall stand. But if her father disallowed her in the day that he hear it not any of her vows or of her bonds, wherewith she had bound her soul shall stand, and the Lord shall forgive her because her father disallowed her. And if she had an all husband, when she vowed and uttered on out of her lips, wherewith she bound her soul, and her husband hear it, and held his peace at her in the day that he heard it, then her vows shall stand, and her bonds wherewith she bound the, her soul shall stand. But if her husband disallowed her in, on the day that he heard it, then he shall make her vow, which she vowed, and that which she uttered with her lips, wherewith she bound her soul, of non-effect, and the Lord shall forgive her. But every vow of a widow, of her that is divorced, wherewith they have bound their souls, shall stand against her. And if she vowed in her husband's house, and bound her soul by a bond with an oath, and her husband heard it, and held his peace at her, and disallowed her not, then her all her vows shall stand, and every bond wherewith she bound her soul shall stand. But in her husband I had utterly made them void on the day he heard them. Then whatsoever proceeded out of her lips concerning her vows or concerning the bond of her soul shall not stand. Her husband had made them void, and the Lord shall forgive her. Every vow and every binding oath to afflict the soul, her husband may establish it, or her husband may make it void. But if her husband altogether hold his peace at her from day to day, then he established all her vows or all her bonds which are upon her. He confirmed them because he held his peace at her in the day that he heard them. But if he shall anyways make them void after he had heard them, then he shall bear her iniquity. These are the statutes which the Lord commanded. Moses between a man and his wife, between the father and his daughter, being yet in her youth in her father's house. Chapter 31 And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Avenge the children of Israel and the Mennonites. Afterward shalt thou be gathered unto thy people. And the Moses spoke unto the people, saying, Arm some of yourselves unto the war, and let them go against the Mennonites, and avenge the Lord of Madian. Of every tribe a thousand throughout all the tribes of Israel, yet shall ye send to the war. So there were delivered out of the thousands of Israel, a hundred of every tribe, twelve thousand armed for war. 
And Moses sent them to the war, a thousand of every tribe, them that Phanes, the son of Elzar, the priest, to the war with the holy instruments and the trumpets to blow in his hand. And they warred against the Mennonites as the Lord commanded Moses, and they slew all the males. And they slew the kings of Madian beside the rest of them that were slain, namely Evi and Rechon, Azur, and Ur, and Rabbah, five kings of Madian, Balaam, also the son of Baram, they slew with the sword. And the children of Israel took all the women of Midian captives and their little ones, and took the spoil of all their cattle and all their flocks and all their goods. And they burnt all the cities wherein they dwelt, and all their godly, goodly castles with fire. And they took all the spoil and all they prey, both of men of beasts. And they brought the captives and the prey and the spoil unto Moses, Eleazar, the priest, and unto the congregation of the children of Israel, unto the camp of, at the plains of Moab, which are by Jordan near Jericho. And Moses, Eleazar, the priest, and all the princes of the congregation went forth to meet them without the camp. And Moses was wrought with the officers of the host, when the captains over thousands and captains over hun hundreds, which came from the battle. And Moses said unto them, Have ye saved all the women alive? Behold, these caused the children of Israel, through the counsel of Balaam, to commit trespass against the Lord in the matter of prayer. And there was a plague among the congregation of the Lord. Now therefore kill every male among the little ones, and kill every woman that had known men by lying with them. But all the women, children, that have not known a man by lying with him, keep alive for yourselves. And do ye abide without the camp seven days, whosoever had killed any person, and whosoever had touched any slain, purify both yourselves and your captives on the third day, and on the seventh day, and purify all your remnant, and all that is made of skin, and all work of goats, hair, and all things made of wood. And Elzar the priest said unto the men of war which went to the battle, This is the ordinance of the law which the Lord commanded Moses. Only the gold and the silver, the brass, the iron, the tin, and the lead, everything that may abide the fire, ye shall make it go through the fire, and it shall be clean. Nevertheless, it shall be purified with the water of separation. And all that abided not the fire, ye shall make go through the water. And ye shall wash your clothes on the seventh day, and ye shall be clean, and afterward ye shall come into the camp. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Take the sum of the prey that was taken, both of man and of beast, Do and Elzar the priest, and the chief fathers of the congregation, and divide the prey into two parts between them that took the war upon them who went out to battle and between all the congregation. And Levi, a tribute unto the Lord of the men of war, which went out of battle one soul of five hundred, both of the persons and of the beeves and of the asses and of the sheep. Take it of their half and give it unto Elzar the priest for an heave offering of the Lord. And of the children of Israel's half, thou shalt take one portion of fifty of the persons of the beeves, of the asses, and of the flocks, of all manner of beasts, and give them unto Levites, which keep the charge of the tabernacle of the Lord. And Moses and Eleazar the priest did as the Lord commanded Moses. And the booty being the rest of the prey which the men of war had caught was six hundred thousand and seventy thousand and five thousand sheep. 
and threescore and twelve thousand bees, and the threescore and one thousand asses, and thirty and two thousand persons in all, of women that had not known man by lying with him, and the half which was the portion of them that went out to war was in number three hundred thousand and seventy and thirty thousand. Five hundred sheep, and the Lord's tribute of the sheep was six hundred and three score and fifty, and the beasts were thirty and six thousand, of which the Lord's tribute was three score and twelve, and the asses were thirty thousand and five hundred, of which the Lord's tribute was three score and one, and the persons were sixteen thousand. Of which the Lord's tribute was thirty and two persons, and Moses gave the tribute which was the Lord's heave offering unto Eleazar the priest, as the Lord commanded Moses. And of the children of Israel, half which Moses divided from the men that bore. Now the half that pertained unto the congregation was three hundred three hundred. Thousand and thirty thousand and seven thousand and five hundred sheep, and thirty and six thousand beeves, and thirty thousand asses and five hundred and sixteen thousand persons. Even of the children of Israel, half Israel's half, Moses took one portion of fifty, both of men and of beasts, and gave them unto the Levites, which kept the charge of the tabernacle of the Lord. As the Lord commanded Moses, then the officers which were over thousands of the host, the captains of thousands and captains of hundreds, came near unto Moses, and they said unto Moses, Thy servants have taken the sum of the men of war which are under our charge, and there lacketh not one man of us. We therefore, and we have therefore brought an obligation of the Lord, what every man had gotten of jewels, of gold, chains, and bracelets, rings, earrings, and tablets, to make an atonement for our souls before the Lord. And Moses and Eleazar the priests took the gold of them, even all wrought jewels, and all the gold of the offering they had offered up to the Lord, of the captains of thousands and of The captains of hundreds were sixteen thousand seven hundred and fifty shekels, for the men of war had taken spoil, every man for himself. And Moses and Eleazar the priest took the gold of the captains of thousands and of hundreds and brought it on into the tabernacle of the congregation for memorial for the children of Israel before the Lord.
Yeah.